Welcome back, fellow YouTubers. Short movie on a Citra Corsa company Choni. Why? Well, they just released uh, version 4 as planned. Let's have a look at that. So, we started with Early Access Release 1 on September 12th. Then, uh, Release 2 came on October the 10th with the Bentley Continental. It was a really good car and then we saw a circuit which is like not one of my favorite but challenging let me say it that way uh release three was on november the 14th and then you had to pay 35 euro for it with the bmw also a very good car uh circuit poly car Ugh, not also not one of my favorites uh, kind of all. and multiplayer they did as well, and uh, now we have uh, uh, December the 12th, we have release date 4 with the Ferrari 488 GT3, fabulous car, and Gungadoring, a circuit that I don't know that well, but it's a very good circuit. I compare it with, with Spa, but not with the long distances you have in Spa, you have really uh, but there are a few corners that are like same-ish, you don't have that level difference, but overall it's a good circuit, I think. I love it. So that's release date number four, so that should be better than number three, I hope, because VR in release date, release three was bloody awful. I mean, uh, sorry for my language, but it sucked. So let's have a look what they improved. And can't wait for release 5 actually and for a full game. So let's shut this down and start this baby up library. Let's sit the course of company Choni. Play game. And I really hope it's gonna run in VR straight away, otherwise uh, it is set to run in VR. Let's put on the helmet, but it's not going to go in VR, is it? Is it, or is it? Got all this crap always coming up. I have no idea why. Oh yeah. Yep. In VR straight away, and my HUD is right in front of me. Last time, if you saw the other video, my eye was in the ceiling, and the HUD was down there somewhere. Now the HUD is straight in front of me. And I don't have sound, which is bloody annoying. Oh. The intro movie is playing, you guys can't see that, fortunately. But there is no sound. Where the fuck is there no sound? Oh, that's fucking annoying, isn't it? Let's get out of the menu. Ah. And now we have sound, so the intro has no sound. Once you go into main menu, we got sound, which is good. First thing I notice, sorry guys, you can't see, we'll go into the game straight away, is that funky switch on your Fanatec wheel doesn't do anything, and neither does your mouse, so they haven't changed that. I really, really hope they will do that because this is bloody annoying, isn't it? have a mouse and a funky switch and it's not working and they do sponsor Fnatic so come on guys uh, put that mouse or funky switch in there so now we have to like do it the other way let's go to multiplayer straight away why not there you go um, 55 milliseconds when you go ring. Yeah, we'll take the best one there is, and that's that one. And of course, we'll change the car. This is the Lambo, now the Ferrari. Can you guys see that? Oh, you can. It's good. I know you can see that. That looks pretty nice, the Ferrari. We'll keep that one. That's the Bentley BMW, another Hurricane 
So we got another guard to play with. Isn't that fun? Press OK and connect. Let's tighten this baby up. The head falls down. So I can hear everything. Alright. The hut is in front of me. That's fun. That's good. I always have to look like up there or down there. That's really good. Now let's see. Version 04.0. And it ain't doing shit for the moment. Got an error. Oh, there we go. Fatal error. Game, game has crashed. Duh. Oh, it's gonna happen a lot. It's early access. I fully understand. Not complaining yet. Quit Steam VR. Try to quit. Let's try it again then, shall we? Play. Ah, you see if I press this play button, you do get the option. If I press it here, play, you don't. No idea what it is. Second try, guys. Second try. Hope for the best, cross our fingers. And we have to wait for it. Well, there's the hug in front of me, so that wasn't a coincidence, it really is working. Let's click a few buttons. Now we have sound in the intro, which is like weird. Maybe that was the reason it crashed. What a go to multiplayer. And, oh my god, refresh the list. Let's go to Gamer Muscle because apparently he's online. Let's give him a hard time. You guys all know Gamer Muscle, if you don't, you should subscribe to his channel. Go, go, go. <laughs> okay, nice, and I'm sitting in the car straight away. Perfectly. Normally I have to adjust my seat and all that stuff. I'm really sitting in the car like, like I'm just tapped in there. This is a really nice car, bloody hell. And my heart, left and right, are actually not in my face. Not double, like in the previous version. Oh, this is good. This is really good. What I didn't notice is that I'm not on the right circuit because I jumped game of muscle and this is not a Hungaro ring. Well, let's try the Ferrari anyway.
This is really good. This is smooth. This car is bloody good. The graphics are good. The HUD is where it should be. This is smooth gaming. I mean, look at that. VR is much better. So guys, let's uh, put this car on the side of the track here and have a better look at it because it's really truly an amazing piece of kit here, the Ferrari 488 GT3. Uh, they did a very good go job at Kunas. The interior is fantastic. The buttons, the displays, everything is readable. Let's step outside and have a look from the outside. And it even looks more amazing. 
what a beautiful car this is even the track here Germany Nuremberg ring very nice indeed uh, everything has improved actually the graphics have improved the frames per second have improved you can see debris on the track now you have uh, loads of rubber in the corners on the curb storms uh, that's new uh, the curb storms are like black where all the cars have crossed it a lot so the road surface looks more real uh, it's little details that make the whole picture really that's uh, in release 4 that are better let's have a look at the rims here uh, the brake yeah very nice enough tires they did a really good job with this car a really good job indeed and the overall game itself has much improved uh, I think it's better stability I've crashed two times already not the car but the game which uh, happened before as well uh, still early access so stuff to be done but otherwise like inside the car um, you have carbon fiber and Alcantara and the release tree uh, when I was driving in the Sun it all went flickery and jumped from matte gloss to shiny and I'm back again and it was like it, it distracts you from your driving uh, now however uh, the Alcantara stays Alcantara and uh, uh, carbon fiber stays carbon fiber uh, nothing's flashing nothing's jumping around the frames per second are awesome in VR uh, did a really good job there um, even the vents which I'm looking at right now are amazing uh, you can really see the vents in 3D actually um, you guys can't see that but it's like you can put your hand in there um, really amazing stuff So guys, let's uh, head off to the Hangora Ring and have ourselves a little VR race against the PC. And it's really amazing. So okay. let's have a look at this then. This circuit looks amazing. Oh, my cable is between mine. Uh, that often happens. Stop the race. Hold your position until the green flag. Watch out in the first corner. Oh, too much power. Green light. Go, go, go.
So let's start this game back up again from scratch. This time you guys can see the HUD floating in front of me in VR. Uh, no sound apparently. Happens a lot in the intro movie. But uh, once you get this screen, suddenly the sound pops up. No idea why that is. But don't care really. Heard the song before. So let's. Uh, start a race straight away against the artificial intelligence AI in VR and we'll take the new Ferrari 488 GT3 on the Gungano ring the circuit actually loops pretty pretty amazing so you see the hut now with all the cars the cars look amazing the track looks amazing um, it's getting better and better uh, these guys are delivering and I'm pretty sure by February this game is gonna look bloody awesome. <coughs> and NVR really looks like you're standing next to the track. This is new as well. You got the rubber on the curbstones. You got a lot of debris of the rubber. It doesn't look as clean as before, and that's the whole point. It looked a bit too clean in the beginning. Uh, and too clean is like like a game, really. But in real life, nothing is as clean as that. Um, the cars could do with a bit of 
dirt once you get on the road windscreen dirt and all that stuff you can see the HUD here on the left hand side clearly visible the timer is visible it's uh, much better you can enlarge that or make it smaller so let's enjoy this race at the Hungaro ring in VR and straight away first corner a bit too eager there and turn the car around so now we have to play catch up uh, this 40, 488 GT3 is amazing to drive it really is it's a supercar did a really good job with it I mean it drives it eats up the corners um, curb stones has no problem with it at all it's it feels aggressive to drive but it's it you get away with it so it has a lot of power tiny bit of oversteer but you can change that in the settings according to your wishes but honestly this car does it for me also the graphics inside interior very very good job indeed I have a feeling in this new release that my graphics card um, is working much better well it's working the same but the game doesn't eat up uh, so many frames per second as release number three I don't know what they did but um, we got a very very much higher frame rate in VR than the previous release uh, this is playable easily don't get a headache from it uh, hope doesn't prove so I can put the graphics even higher everything is at medium for the moment a few things at high but most of it like 80% is at medium it would be nice so you can put everything at high in VR uh, that would be absolutely amazing but for now this is playable, really playable and very much enjoyable. I have to say after a while this circuit grows on you and it really feels good 
There's some nice corners in this one. Uh, and you have to stay awake because easily you can overdrive this and end up in the barrier. Seven plates for the moment. From last, by the way. My first mistake, first corner. I think they improved uh, the force feedback as well. I'm not really a ace when it comes to feeling force feedback uh, and differences. Uh, I hear some other guys talking about is like they feel every micro vibration. Uh, I've, but I do in this release, I do feel an improvement. Um, certainly with this car, with the Ferrari, I can you know, actually really feel that your back end is going or you're losing grip. Uh, you can feel that in the steering wheel. So it's a bit more intense. Uh, it's not heavier, but it is, and the response is mu much better. Uh, that's what I think. Uh, like I said, I'm not really a force feedback guru. <coughs> Still seven plates. It's gonna be close. So I'm really hoping with the next release that they are going to implement a mouse in there because I have the Fanatec steering wheel and they have funky switches. So I mean they are advertising Fanatec all over the circuit on the billboards. So if the Fanatec switch can be used that would be really nice because the menus in VR are still like um, a big concern. You have to take your keyboard, uh, which is not easy when you got your VR headset on, yellow flag, yellow flag, and then you have to press the right button, of course, which is not easy either. So I'm racing against Van Tour, which is the Belgium race driver in the Audi LMS. And he's a really good driver by the way. And now we're in position 5. The exhaust by the way of this Ferrari is... The sound is amazing. Got the backfiring. Uh, the gearbox. The brakes. Um, they really did a good job with this one. I did a few rounds in the Hurricane as well, and I think they improved that model as well. Uh, maybe the tire model they changed a bit of the Hurricane. It's uh, it's still a very aggressive car, the Hurricane, but it uh, I f it felt like it drove easier. Again, I'm not the true expert on all that stuff, uh, but I did feel a light difference in a positive way. but there are so many variables in driving cars, different cars, circuits, weather, temperature. It's really difficult to go in the internet and say, oh, they did this and they did that. And suddenly everybody's a, an expert. Fourth place.
Uh, for this video I turned off my proximal seat so I'm sitting still because I can imagine for you guys it's pretty annoying all that shaking uh, for me uh, you don't notice it because I'm the one that's shaking and sitting in the car so that's realism but unfortunately you're sitting still at your desk and you, you see the more shaking you see the more unstable it really looks unstable it looks but so that's why I turned it off It really feels good with the 3 dof sim rig under your butt. <coughs> you can actually feel when another car is hitting you much better. Um, you get the input through your steering wheel, but now you got the input through your bum. Oh, what am I doing here? Yeah, game over here. One small mistake and it's all done. You hit the curb board, curb stone too hard, and the car goes out of control. But nobody has passed me yet, I think. Nope, still in fourth place. And you have Van Tour behind me, the Belgium race driver. I'm not sure if they implement the AI according to the drivers of that car meaning like now I have Van Tour behind me he's a pretty aggressive driver so um, I'm not sure if they will go that far to change the AI according to the real life driver that's sitting in that car maybe they are maybe they don't it's a question we should ask Kunos fourth place not bad came from last A circuit that I do not know that well so this was fun I'm looking forward to more races online uh, let's have a look at this circuit and as a uh, replay of the race from the outside So we got the replay. All the cars are there and it really works very well in VR. You got a decent frame rate. No artifacts that are floating or jumping from one place to another. So a major improvement here in release four. So if, if they keep it up at this pace, this game will rock. Once it's finished, hear the sound of this Ferrari 488 and me mucking about. It could do with a bit more dust and smoke when you're going off track. That would be nice. Probably gonna add that to the guys of Kunas. This is helmet view by the way got a lot of guys moaning about my HTC Vive the feel of view is too little you should go for a Primax or other uh, headsets but this is what a driver sees when a helmet on by the way and can't even see your own steering wheel and for those of you who have tried a bit of racing with a helmet on you would agree that's all you see in a helmet it limits your visibility really really big time but it's for safety reasons you have a helmet on of course but that's why I don't really care about a uh, field of view because you already have more than enough field of view in VR when you're racing and that's what I use my headset for the most this is the Mercedes-Benz Pretty nice car as well. Not a Mercedes Benz.
totally different noise very realistic very realistic noise so to finish this video uh, great congratulations to Kunas for doing a magnificent job let's get out of this Ferrari and have a look at it from the outside how truly amazing this car is and actually all the cars are amazing and this Hung Hungaroring track is very beautiful too so keep on the good work meanwhile the race goes on cars are passing and I'm sitting on my knees looking at the rims of a Ferrari and the brake pads Brembo everything is really nicely done cars keep passing by and it's really an amazing feeling that you actually can stand in the Hungaro ring next to a 488 GT3 and on the track and race cars are just flying by at a high speed uh, that's how amazing VR is really you can't beat it with one screen two screens or three screens look inside it's a pity there's always a headless person in, in there but I mean otherwise it's so realistic Bye guys, I'm gonna leave it at this, I hope you enjoyed the video, if you did give it a thumbs up if you please, and I hope you will join me on the other videos and maybe we can uh, race online. Next video I'm probably gonna do is about my new um, RTX 2080 Ti. Um, really nice card and I'll tell you all about it meanwhile I just got back in my Ferrari enjoying the view the interior of this amazing amazing car see you again guys and thank you for watching